Hi there, thank you so much for joining me today for this Copic marker coloring tutorial. I'm using this brand new stamp set from Neat and Tangled. It's called Moon Magic and it has this really adorable, gorgeous moth on there. And I'm going to be honest with you, at first I thought it was a butterfly and then later on I realized, okay, maybe that doesn't really make sense. It's more of a moth because it's like a nighttime theme for this month's release. So I have a rainbow moth or butterfly so you can use these same techniques to go either or I, I think so I'm gonna go ahead and get my Copics together I have my image stamped with memento black ink and it's stamped onto Copic express it blending card so let's get started with the coloring okay so the colors we're going to be using they are R22 R20 YR00 Y11 G20 B triple zero, so B zero 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 and V O one. And for the body, we're also going to be using E thirty three and E thirty. First, we're going to go ahead and color the one side of the wing. So we're just going to color this entire side over here. I like to color in sections so that way it you are blending out the markers. It's they're easier to blend when they're when they stay wet. So I'm going to start with R twenty two, and we're just going to kind of outline the lines that are there coming out from the body. We're going to make the area closest to the body a little bit darker than the wings, the outer part of the wings. And then I'm going to take my R20 and come out a little bit more. and then YR00. And then Y11. So this is a little bit bolder of a color, so I'm really gonna stay closer to the R20 and R22 and just come out a little bit. That way I'm not putting some of this really bright yellow into the white area. So I'm really just kind of going over the edge of the inside, right where the R20 is. So it doesn't, because I really wanted a, a nice pastel look. And then we're gonna take the G20 and again, come out just a little bit more. You wanna make sure you come right along the side of some of the, the Y11. You don't wanna fully cover up the Y11, so that way you see all the colors. All right, so now I'm gonna take my B000, and I'm gonna work backwards. Since the yellow and that green is so light, and this one's a little bit darker, I'm going to work my way back into that yellow. So that way the yellow and the green stay there. And I just barely brush it so, just so I have a nice blend in between the two colors. But you're still able to see the yellow and the green. And now I'm going to take my V01. And again, going backwards, I'm staying close into the blue because there's no more room left. But I really want to give those that edge of the wings, just like how we gave that definition in here with the R22. So I'm doing the same thing with the V01. So just giving a little bit more definition to the edge. And then the little tail here, I'm just going to fill it in with the purple. Now if you feel that the purple really, you can, you can start to see that the color is kind of pushing away, so I, I want to go back and blend it out a little bit. So I'm going to take my B000, and again, just go right 
very quick. You don't want to leave the marker on the paper too long, then it's going to, the ink's just going to run out of it and really saturate the paper. So just a quick stroke just to give a little bit of a blend off to that edge. So now I'm going to go back with my R22 and I'm going to give a little bit of color just along the bottom part of the wing right there. And then I'm going to take my R20 and just fill in this top part. All right, time to move to the other side. So I'm going to go back with my R22. And just trace those lines. So it's easier to think of if you, once you lay the, the tip of your marker on the paper and just give a little flick out wherever your marker stops, that's it. It makes it so it's, um, it fades off so you have a much more natural look in line. And then my R20. So we just want to extend that R22 out a little bit just so it's not so harsh right at the edges so it fades. Go ahead and just fill this top part in right now. And we'll go back with R22 to give it that little bit of a shadow just underneath. And now with the YR00, come right in between the R20 and R22 so you have that nice peachy color in between for our rainbow color. And then with the Y11, and G20. And then B triple zero, we're gonna work our way back. Go backwards here. And then V01. Remember we wanna define those lines at the edge of the wings. And then fill in the little tail part of the wing. And I went outside the lines. So now I'm going to show you how I'm going to fix that. I did that. I, I did that in a different video that I recently posted. So, but I'll go ahead and show you again. And now we're going to go back with the blue, with the B000. So that way we have a nice blend. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and take out that E33 and E30. I'm going to start with my E33, and I wanted to give like a furry little textured area. As you could, you can see the little lines there. So I just wanted to follow them and just add a little squiggly line. And then I'm gonna trace these lines down here and also trace the top part of the head. So there's just, so the head's gonna be a little bit darker. It has a little tiny spot right there for some highlight. So I'm gonna use my E30, fill it all in. Now I don't wanna blend that out. So instead of going over and going over, I'm just going to do one swipe over, well, maybe two or three. But that way, it, you could still see those lines. So now I'm going to take my E33 again and add them back in there so it's a little darker. Maybe make a couple little extra little 
lines here and there just for some more texture. And then I'm also going to trace around the body to give a little bit more of a shadow where in between the body and the wings. All right, so now to fix that mistake, I'm gonna take my white gel pen and I'm just gonna trace right along the outline of the image. This is so much better than using your blender pen. But since I'm gonna die cut this out with the coordinating die set, and leave that nice white border in between the image and the edge of the die. So you wanna make sure you don't go out of the lines too much or just go back and trace right around the, the outline with your white gel pen in it. It's an easy fix, it's just like white out. All right, so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again next time.